Director Benny Boom is joining us, West Philadelphia Zone. Temple grad, we are so proud of him. We're gearing up for the new movie, All Eyes on Me, the life story of Tupac Shakur, which is opening in theaters June 16th. How are you? How you doing? I'm great. I'm great. The life story mm-hmm. of Tupac, at times misunderstood, mm-hmm. but Definitely. I'm sure this movie will kind of bring us into focus. Yeah, we wanted, you know, what we wanted to do in this film uh, was bring some clarity to his life. You know, it's it's a it's a person who, while he was alive on this planet and you saw all the things that he was going through, the arrests and the rape trial and all these things, um, there was a lot of confusion because the talent was there. So the people... Uh, I would say the fans and, and the hip hop culture and people in general were just like, well, what's wrong with this guy? Or it's, you know, what's happening? Yeah. And, you know, I was and, one of them. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I honestly, I was, I was like, this is, come on, Pac, what's going on? Like what, you know, what are you doing? But then when you see what his life was like and understand a lot of his things, he was very misunderstood. You know, he's for some, he's a very polarizing figure to some, but then to other people, he's, you know, he's a God to a lot of people. So what we wanted to do in this film was find that middle ground, the humanity of what Tupac Amaru Shakur was, you know, and that's what this story is about. It's a fascinating story. The young actor that's playing Tupac, Demetrius Ship. What, what was it hard? Did you know when you saw him because he looks just like Tupac? Yeah, he is he is uncanny uh, in the way he looks like Pac. Um, you know, he was found. Lt. Hutton, the producer of the movie, found Demetrius Ship. He was very, he was close friends to his dad. Demetrius Ship Senior was a producer at Death Row, and so was Lt. Hutton. So he hadn't seen Junior um, for years since he was a little kid. And so when he walked into his office one day, the the uh, assistant told him, he said, "You know, Tupac's in the lobby." And Lt. was like, "Come on, stop playing." So he, he goes and <laughs> goes to see and. He, Kid looks just like Tupac Bandana, the whole thing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like going from doing videos? Because you've worked with the biggies. Mm-hmm. Uh, like Jennings, LL Cool J, mm-hmm. Lil' Kim, mm-hmm. Nikki, Meek. Mm-hmm. What was that tra- transition like going from videos to movies? Well, you know, the music videos are sort of the training ground, I think, for the filmmakers. I st- I went to Temple for film. So mm-hmm. I was a film major in African-American studies, you know, double double major. Um, some music videos sort of came about because I was trying to, partly because I was trying to earn money, mm-hmm. you know, and then trying to survive. I was living in New York City and um, was didn't want to not be involved in this career. So I was an assistant director and a PA, and then I got an opportunity to direct a music video, and I took that opportunity, and it just sort of just took off from there. You know, I kind of developed my own style and saw it the way I wanted to see it, and and it took off from there, but I always wanted to direct films. So um, that transition, it was, it was easy because I, it was already in me to do mm-hmm. movies. Yeah. And then in 2007 is when I did next day air, which was the first feature I did. And, and, and uh, that kind of was the start of it. It's an honor to just kind of like celebrate how far you have come and, you know, in this journey and Thank a fellow you. Philadelphian and mm-hmm. the life of Tupac it should be told, and it should be told right. Because like you said, misunderstood. Yeah. So many of us are like, he's yeah. out of trouble. Can he stop? Because right, right, right. <laughs> it's like you got this, this great music, but right. it's like stop getting in trouble. Right. And you die at the age of 25. 25 yeah. Way too soon. Way too soon. Because I think about, you know, I'm the exact same age as Pac would have been this year. Yeah. And it's like I remember at 25 years old, you know, I was out of college. I was living in New York, but I was coming back here to Philadelphia um, you know, every other weekend or hanging out and stuff. And I was confused as well, you know, not sure of what I should be doing with my life and that sort of thing. So I didn't even have a, a music career and all this stuff. And I think about where I was mentally at that time. And for him to have achieved what he achieved um, with the albums and just the fanfare and all this stuff and to be struck down at 25 years old is still, is still incredible to me to think about it. All eyes on me. It opens in theaters on July sixteenth. June sixteenth. Oh, June sixteenth. Yeah. I'm 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 thinking ahead. June sixteenth. Make sure yeah, you go yeah, out yeah. and support it. Yeah. Director Benny Boone. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank love you. you. Love your journey. Thank you so your much. story. And God bless you. God bless you too. Thank June sixteenth, everybody. The life of Tupac Shakur and All Eyes on Me.